y'all. Thank you so much for stopping in today. My name's Julie, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis. Today, we are fixing buttermilk banana cake. Very excited about this recipe and excited to show y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. In my bowl, I already have three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. We're actually just going to combine that and set it aside for right now. And then in this bowl, I have two sticks or the equivalent of one cup of softened butter. And we are going to gradually add in two cups of granulated sugar until that mixture is smooth. We have our sugar and softened butter combined. Now we're gonna add three eggs, one at a time. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Now we're gonna alternately add our flour mixture and the buttermilk just a little bit at a time. A little bit of flour mixture. Mix that up. Now some buttermilk. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, set your oven to 275. So this cake is gonna bake at a low temperature for about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes, depending on your oven. All of our ingredients have been combined now except for our bananas. So we're gonna take three very ripe bananas, slice those up and add them in, mixing them but on low. And I also wanted to let y'all know too, if buttermilk is not something y'all keep in your refrigerators, something that you can do is take either one tablespoon of vinegar or one tablespoon of lemon juice and add it to a cup of milk and it's gonna give you the same flavor and consistency that buttermilk would. Just a little trick for you. Have our bananas all sliced up. We're gonna add those in. The more ripe your bananas are, the more flavor it's gonna give your cake. Those bananas are all mixed in. Our batter is actually a pretty thick consistency, so that's what we're looking for. We're going to pour it into a nine by 13 pan. Go ahead and spray it so it doesn't stick. This is all ready to go in the oven and it's gonna sit in there for at least an hour and we're gonna keep a close eye on it. While we're waiting for our cake to finish up in the oven, we are gonna make our icing. I have one stick of softened butter and eight ounces of softened cream cheese. We're gonna mix that together with some buttermilk. Our butter, cream cheese, and buttermilk are mixed together and I actually also added two teaspoons of vanilla. Now I'm gonna stir in my sugar. Unless you want a huge mess, you want to go very slowly at first. Our icing is whipped to perfection and it tastes even better than it looks. Had to try it. Another thing that we're going to do to keep busy while our cake is baking is we're going to clear a spot in the freezer. As soon as we take it out of the oven, we're throwing it directly into the freezer and it's something about that process that makes the cake so moist. Even though never in my life have I met someone that likes that word, the word moist, ew, I don't like it either. But when it comes to cake, Moist is a good thing. Cake's ready to come out. That looks absolutely delicious. And I have my freezer ready to go. I have a towel down in here. We're gonna put that right in here for about 45 minutes. And then we'll put the icing on and we're done. Our cake has completely cooled. Now we're ready to put the icing on. And that's the last step. We're gonna sprinkle the top with a half a cup of chopped pecans. And last but not least, just sprinkle with just a little bit of cinnamon. And this is optional. You don't have to put the cinnamon on if you don't want to, but I want to, so I'm going to. This is our beautiful cake. Look how pretty it is. Ah, food makes me happy. Y'all ready? That's what I'm talking about. That is some good cake. Oh my gosh, you absolutely must try this recipe. Folks, this is literally a little piece of heaven on a plate. You have to try it. The recipe is listed below with all the exact, exact measurements and ingredients. Also visit my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, all one word, and it'll be listed there as well. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Really enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is to bake. Thank y'all for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.